I'm gonna read about being uh, intro, intro, introspective. Uh, the first one is, I'm introspective because sometimes I want to take our side without looking at the facts in situations like these. Sometimes I feel like it's us against them. Sometimes I'm just as prejudiced as people I point fingers at. And that's not right. How can I look at white skin and make assumptions but not want assumptions made about me? That's not right. Um, I'll go down and, and, and the, the second paragraph that I, that I think kind of struck a chord with me was the last paragraph of the piece and it's kind of how I closed it up kind of on a positive note because after thinking about all these emotions and going through them, I'm encouraged because of this. Um, I'm encouraged because ultimately the problem is not a skin problem, it's a sin problem. Sin is the reason we rebel against authority. Sin is the reason we abuse our authority. Sin is the reason we are racist, prejudiced, and lie to cover for our own. Sin is the reason we riot, we loot, and we burn. But I'm encouraged because God has provided a solution for sin through his son Jesus, and with it, a transformed mind and heart, one that's capable of looking past the outward and seeing what's truly important in every human being. The okay. cure for Michael Brown, Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, and Eric Garner tragedy is not education or exposure, it's the gospel. So finally, I'm encouraged because the gospel gives mankind hope. I think one part that really resonates with, with you know, a lot of America is the I'm th sympathetic section, right, where you talk about I am yes. sympathetic to uh, the officer, I am sympathetic to Michael Brown, and so much of America is really perceiving the story. It's divided along racial lines. I talked to Elsie Granderson on the show yesterday, and he said his biggest frustration, he was in Ferguson, he saw it all, and he said neither side is sympathetic to the other. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's, that's a natural reaction. I think that's why I started off by saying that I'm angry. It's okay to be angry and to identify your, your emotion as being angry. Because like I said later, we like to protect our own. And because of our life experiences, whether it is being a black American or a white American, um, because of stories that you've heard over time, because of injustices that have happened, um, because of maybe being accused of something you didn't do, or maybe being accused of being racist when you're not, we have these certain um, histories and we, react because of those and so you know anger is okay but when you get past that first level of emotion it's important to understand why are you angry and then take a step further am I any different than anyone else if I was in their situation and I think the sympathetic part you know I've had a lot of teammates come up to me and, and and actually read it which that really warms my heart because for them to actually come and say that they enjoyed the piece but I think it was a lot what a lot of people were thinking but didn't quite know how how to express it and for whatever reason Mm -hmm. um, God gave me the, the words to put on paper and, and it kind of resonated with a lot of people. But I think it's really important that we, we take a step back sometimes and think about the other side um, before mm -hmm. we make uh, accusations and assumptions. In the 60 seconds I have remaining with you, sir, let me just ask you, we talk so much about this on a macro level. How about on a micro, on a day-to-day -day basis, how can we, you know, black, white, whatever, mm -hmm. improve this? Well, I, I, honestly, I think I, I point to it in the very last paragraph that I read, and, and I'm encouraged because things aren't the way they used to be. You know, we all have grandparents that, that told us how things were. We've all seen documentaries. We are definitely making progress, but I think on an individual, on a, uh, on a micro level, the issue is not really skin. The issue is sin. And I, I firmly believe that the issue is that internally we are flawed. Internally, we need salvation from our sin. Internally, our sin makes us prideful. It makes us judgmental. It makes us prejudiced, which leads to racism. It makes us lash out at people that don't look like us. It makes us look past, look past evidence to protect people that look like us. It, it makes us do all those things. It makes us lash out in anger. It makes us point finger. It, 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 it wow. makes us, our sin that's in us makes us do those things. And the only, Oof. the only salvation for this sin is the gospel. The only way to really cure that was on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so, th to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. It. Oh, and just like that, we lost him. I know, I heard you guys rapping me. I just couldn't let him go. Benjamin Watson, thank you so much. Good luck at the game Sunday. I'm Brooke Baldwin. See you Monday. Jim Shudo, up next.
Genesis to Revelation. This is your station. No perpetrating life talk. Word of God to sway. Life is a radio that's in vain. Displaying the truth, the way, and the life holy name. Listening now, saying they feel it before a million kill me and smile. Uh, how many you whip ridiculous smiles to hit a chicken? Won't drive five minutes to visit their child. How many sitting in prison missing they see? Why the one that really committed the deed is chilling and free? He got stripes for not snitching indeed, but I don't know the stripes for something the children can eat. Why if somebody breaking your call, you ask who did it? Like if you ask and I answer you, that ain't snitching. But if he asking you did it, somehow that's different. How come the rules change when it's you in the bad predicament? Why is it that we treat God like he a chick? We claim to love him, but just not enough to commit. We take advantage of the fact that he's just to forgive. But if he ever left you alone, you cry like a whip. Real talk. I wonder where we're going. How many people alive make a living off of what causes other people to die? And out of those, how many know and it eats them alive? But the beamer they drive is making them keep it inside. Why is it legal to teach people the evolution when it's only a theory and no one has ever proved it? So if my child's a believer in the God he can't bring up in school, why is it cool for you to confuse them? Why if I come out with shoes and they priced at 40? So I don't make much off them with the hook in the 40. You probably look at them corny, but if I try all 200, you'd probably be waiting in line like you do for them Jordans. Why you want to keep a good chick and cheat with a bad chick? But you don't want your good chick to be like that chick. We knock what's good for us to chase what's bad and neglect what we got for what we can't have. Why? Cigarettes cool, as long as the government is getting theirs too. Same reason prostitution is illegal till you tape it and call it pornography and that was merely entertainment. Why they sell us fast food, then they sell us weight pills. Making a meal, healing the same ones they make ill. Why do we fall for it? Why do we complain but keep doing the same thing? Why don't we change? Why if you see one past that is phony and fake? You toss Christ out with the church and throw him away. So I guess when they pull you over, pay solely on race. Cause other black men are stolen, they can hold you to blame Why are we so biased? Why do we not care what's fair Till it's us that the injustice bothers It's a lot of poor hoods many turn a blind eye to Why you only occupy when the 99's you?
we don't respect us? Why do we reject us? Why do we look down on us when we behind them desks? Why every time I'm in the drive through to order breakfast? My own kind at the window talking to me reckless. Why we hate each other just because we matching dresses? Shopping at the same mall, it should be expected. Why we not accept it? Why do we accept it? Why every time we get into it, murder's the objective? Why every time we talk to us, we get so aggressive? Why do we get so belligerent when we address us? Why we let us see you down but hate when you progressive? Jealous of my own brother because he drive a Lexus. Get a ticket, we the only ones that don't contest it. But if you throw a picnic, you can bet that we the freshest. Why we always pick our dark skinned women second? Dog and call them names and in reality they precious. We seem to be the only ones that's targeting our ethnic. Record labels bogus because they market in the records. Today the album drops, but our tomorrow gets affected. Long as we keep signing on the margin by them X's. Blinded by the money, a Ferrari and a necklace. Okay, so the album hot, but what about the message? What about the little ghetto kids that we've infected? Kill us because we win hoodies, now we screaming justice. What about the children that's been murdered by detectives? What about the ones that get us bogusly arrested? What about discrimination because how we complected? Let me calm down so you can properly digest it. When will we address it? When will we adjust it? Fashion seems to be the only thing that we obsessed with. Every nationality that's breathing, we impressed with. Our own kind's the only one we screaming we don't mess with. Facebook friends, the only people we connect with. Care about our phones more than anything we blessed with. All we do is down talk each other to the next click. Everything is competition, especially if you dress slick. Yeah, we unemployed, but you can bet we got on fresh kicks. Drama's the effect of everything that we oppress with. Willie Lynch's letter was pathetically a death wish. Tell me how can we destroy the beauty we was blessed with? Blessed with. Uh -huh. 